The Wooden Railway Originals of Thomas and Friends, Episode 126. Boko, the really useful diesel. The engines are so or are good at different things. <laughs> Chris is born good at Born the Express, but never the Bellow and Furnace. Vinny is good at pulling heavy loads. And when Boko, the Diesel, is not pulling coke, not do working on Tom Edward's branch line, he sometimes, sometimes helps other engines, engines, as I break down on the main line. Some engines think this makes him unreliable. Boko is a useless old box cab. He should be retired. But he doesn't have tires, said Wilbur. Retired, said Lady, means taken out of service. And not a moment too soon, said Chris. Kayla and Maria agreed with him. But Wilbert was very upset. Soon Wilbert arrived at back at Nefford Station. He just came back from taking a taking a passenger train on, on Thomas's ranch line. What's wrong, Wilbert? Axe her top of hat. It's the it's Chris. 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 He said he wants wants Boko to be retired. I see. I will attend the matter immediately, said Sir Topham Hat. Meanwhile, Philip was talking to Boko. Just as the top of hat had it came had arrived arrived on board Hugo. And Tom Mr. Ashima saved me. Saved me from on that big boy. Wow, said Boko. Oh well that that was very brave of them to do to save you. Oh, hello, sir, said Boko. Boko, said Sir Topham Hat, I need you, you to help Duck and Oliver, over, over, while Rock, Ian, Ian, Ian is, and Ryan has been taken ill, so I need you to help Duck and Oliver on the Brit, on the Little Western. Yes, sir, but who will look after the after the extra work. Dennis will take care of that, said Sir Topham Hat. Yes, sir, sighed Boko. When the engines heard that Dennis was going to do Boko's work, they were pleased. Dennis is very reliable, said Mark. Hmm, said Chris. It makes no difference to me. I don't need a back at I don't need any help.
at first, both both will enjoy working with with Jeff, Jeff and all of her. It was so much fun bringing passengers and freight up and down the branch line. But Dennis was not happy. The cars were playing their silly games as usual. Dennis is just a lazy one. Dennis is just a lazy one. Stop that! Said Rickety crossly. It's not even funny. Meanwhile, just as Dennis was about to go up Gordon's hill, he found himself going slower and slower and slower. And as soon as he made it to the top, his wheel stopped, and he was stuck. Oh no, said the conductor. This is Chris's line. And he went to go find a telephone. And it was too late. Chris already raced by. Then he saw a dentist up ahead. If I slow down on this hill, I'll never get started again, he thought. Quick, quick, muffling up to the caboots. He tried to push and push. Push. But, it, but he wasn't strong enough. Then, suddenly, he ran, he ran out of steam and coal. Botheration! Are you serious? Said Chris. Looks like I'm gonna have to telephone phone for, for Boko, said the driver. Chris was cross. Dennis and Chris were put on, side, on a siding and Boko, just as Boko passed by. If Boko was pleased, he was go going to pull, pull a, pas a passenger train and a freight train. Boko was buffered up and he had to set off. As soon as Dennis was taken to the diesel work, the work, Sir Topham Hat gave strict orders to Chris. You have said rude things about Boko. He proved today that he was useful, reliable, and very helpful. All right. Yes, sir, said Chris. And if this happens again, you will. I'm taking your coaches away and you'll, you'll be pulling freight trains. Chris was horrified, but they didn't want to argue. Yes, sir, said Chris. After Boko had dropped off, off the cars, there's and the coaches. Chris had something to say. Say to him. Thank you for helping me with those coaches. You really are a crap engine. Or a diesel, I should say. It feels good to be back, said Boko. Sir Topham Hat was right. There was no more talk about Boko retiring. <laughs>